Question 6. So, for part 1, calculate the coefficient of friction between P and the surface. So, this little diagram summarizes the forces. So, resolving vertically, we get R being 8. Um, resolving um, horizontally, we get, um, we get uh, the friction equaling 3. So uh, what do we know about the friction? Well, friction is mu r equaling 3. We know that we've just worked out that the normal reaction is 8. So our coefficient of friction is 3 over 8, or 0 0.375. Now for part 2, uh, find the magnitude and direction of the contact first force exerted by the surface on P. So we have our uh, 3 newtons going um, force going Horizontally, our weight of 8 going downwards. So using Pythagoras, this gives us the contact force of squared equals 3 squared plus 8 squared, which is 8.54. And the angle with the horizontal using Sokotoa, tan theta is 8 over 3, opposite over adjacent. So theta equals 69.4 degrees. Now for part 3, uh, part uh, a, I've got uh, the new diagram here. Okay, so we're told that theta equals zero, so T is effectively just going um, vertically to the left. Okay, we've got our three newtons going to the right, and now because our, we're, uh, now our friction uh, is, is fighting against this, this new force, this new tension, so our friction is going left to right. So uh, resolving vertically, we are unchanged. Okay, our um, our friction is st uh, uh, our um, our normal reaction is still eight. Our coefficient of friction is unchanged, so our friction is unchanged. So our tension is an unchanged friction of three plus this um, three newtons. So our tension is three plus three equals six. Now for part B, we need to reconsider uh, our diagram. So uh, here, here's the diagram. So we've still got R straight up. We've got the weight straight down. We've got our friction. We've got our three newtons. And I've broken down this tension until it's two components. So T cos 30 being horizontal, T sin 30 being vertical. Now we do need to resolve um, uh, vertically again because our our, um, our our normal reaction has changed because we've now got a new force acting vertically so resolving vertically we've got r plus t sin 30 equaling 8 so r equals 8 minus t sin 30 that's important because that's going to um, impact the the friction in a minute so resolving horizontally we've got going to the left t cos 30 going to the right 3 plus the friction friction is mu times r which is 0 0.375 the coefficient of friction times r which we've just worked out so this allows us to work rearrange and work out our tension to be 5.70 newtons